Okay, let's start. First, I want to begin by the disclaimer to say that I am not recommending anything. Please note, this is not a recommendation. This session is purely for educational purposes. I am not recommending you to buy or sell or do anything. I just wanted to share how I did the intraday game today in Nifty. Just wanted to share purely for education purposes. Okay. That's it. Let me start. Okay. okay. Now we are seeing the five minutes chart. If somebody is coming, please, somebody else, let him in. Okay. We are looking at the weekly, I mean, five minutes chart because when you do intraday game, your analysis happens at five minutes chart. Okay, I do it at five minute chart. Okay. Now, today, what I did, I will put the day separate roll so that you know where yeah. we will bring in the session breaks. Somebody is coming, please take care. Okay. This is today, today's session. What happened here? Okay. This is today's section. It started here exactly. And what happened? Okay. And if you if I recall what we discussed on Friday about Nifty, I had very clearly said that there is more downside for Nifty. Okay. And it turned out to be true also. As I expected, the stock. The Nifty started the down move, okay, and it made a low here. And you will not believe I took went long somewhere here, okay, okay. After I went long, it came down a little bit. Maybe I was in a little bit of a hurry. You know? I just want to didn't want to miss it, so I I bought at this green candle, small green candle. This is where I bought the first lot, and when I when it came down and came back. I bought the second lot. Okay, so I initially I bought two lots at this price. Okay. Now I want to tell you why I thought the down move has been made by Nifty. Even now I believe. First is see I put a horizontal line. This is where the last time the low was made. Can you see? Okay. Now maybe I can remove the session break. A distraction. Can you see this dotted line that I have drawn? That was the low that was made last time. Okay. And that is exactly where the buying came again. Okay. This is a strong support. Because at this point, we had such a big rally. And when it comes there, down there, people are again ready to buy. Okay. That is one observation where I thought. The low has been made and I bought the two lots here. You can also see it as the bottom of the channel also. Supposing you draw a channel like this. I'm drawing a channel connecting the highs and lows. Okay. And you see the median. So always I check the median. See how it is a perfect median of this channel. That's where the resistance, you saw the resistance. And it had a support also. Okay. So that means this channel is perfect. And this horizontal line lines up with the channel bottom. So that those are two enough confluence for me to go long. Okay. That's how I took long here. So when you go long, you always need to have a target. Okay. So uh, what I did first, I was thinking I will bring up the CPR for okay. Today's CPR, can you see? This white line, three lines. If you see, uh, this, it looks like a one line, but if you look closely, it is the range is so tight that it looks like a one line. See why it's not? See? I think you can. Can you solve? see now? Three lines. The CPR is so tight. Uh, that it looks like one single line. Okay? That is the CPR. And in fact, you know, the today's down move started exactly at the CPR. Okay. 
CPR was the resistance. From there, the down move started. Okay. And I kept the target at the CPR. Okay. That was my initial target. Okay. But uh, later on, I changed my mind because I was watching what happens here. Okay. Because I was expecting it will go here. Why? Because the real resistance is here. If you see, if I have to draw a Fibonacci retracement from this high to this high, this low, see the 78.6% 78, 78 okay, comes exactly there. So I was thinking that probably this will pay, even though CPR is a resistance, most people exit here. And it was the days, I mean, that's where it started also. So initially, I was thinking of going, but then I watched what happened. And the, the you know, the candle went passed through straight. So then I thought I will exit at the 78.6, which is the resistance. Can you see? This is the resistance. Okay. So I exited. So I played from here to here. Okay. Initially, I bought two lots, but I added a third lot here. Okay. How I added here? Why? Because I will draw a VWAP from here. I will draw two A V maps. Okay. One will be with the low. It is already low, so maybe I will make it high. Okay. So this is the low. This is the high. This gives you the A V map band. Okay. Whenever a stock you know is in a bullish trend and when it corrects, the buying will come at this band. Okay. The smart money will be waiting for the correction to end here and they will buy again here and that's what happened you see in fact i bought at this candle okay but after i bought a little bit one more red candle came so i was also a little bit getting worried but it exactly happened the way i thought see so i added a third lot here i added one lot here in this green candle second lot again when it came back somewhere here i add the second lot and i added a third lot here and I exited here at 159. It gave me a good return of 12,800 for me today. But it, it went fast also. Okay, I was also thinking perhaps it might go to this, you know, this is R1 pivot. And that is where it almost went. Maybe tomorrow it will go there. But no problem. For today, I made my profit as per my target. But the, it is very bullish. So, what I'm, I will do is again, I will, some reactions will come. Okay. So when it comes back, maybe when it comes back to this line, which is where it is broken, no, any resistance that is broken will act as support. So on uh, tomorrow, if it comes back here, I mean, depending on how the candle closes, if it brings the bullish candle, maybe we can go long here. Okay. And if it in case slips further to again back to this, I, I may take a second long run. That's how I will play. Okay. So just wanted to share this with you, how I played the game. That's all, nothing else. Hope you like my presentation. If you have any comments, any any doubts, anybody can, you can ask me. I am prepared to explain. Now you can open your mic. Anyone? Has any doubt or clarifications? I am ready. So, what is the name of the indicator uh, which you are using for CRB? This, this is CPR. This is yes, the sorry, one, yes. no? CPR. This is called central pivot range. You know the pivot point, no? General pivot, everybody knows. But the pivot is actually not a single point. It is a range. CPR. Okay? It yeah, has sorry. three lines. See, yesterday's CPR was so wide. But today's CPR was so narrow. Yeah, so there are so many CPR indicators uh, trading view. Yeah, in the, in the trading, if you go to indicators, you search for yeah. CPR. Okay. See, there are a lot of CPRs. By I use the CPR by KGS, which is the okay. most famous one. There are other pe other people's CPRs also, but I I use the one CPR by KGS. You can find it when you go to indicators. You search for CPR, you will get it. Okay. okay, and then the, the, the red line, which is the resistance one, 
that is it's a red one that's what you can when you go to cpr you go to settings okay yeah i will see this set you go to setting okay content you go to settings you have lots of options you know daily you have these are the pivots daily pivot this is the bottom this is the top and you, these are the three these three are the the cpr range okay then you can also bring in a daily r1 also see resistance you have r2 r3 if the bullish one it may go to r1 r2 r3 like that if it is bearish it will go to s1 s2 s3 like that. so you can bring up depending on which one you want but if you bring up everything it will be lot of lines you will get confused yeah okay so you can as we as it goes i mean supposing the market is slipping if you want to find out the supports you can bring s1 s2 s3 s4 like that and if it is mark is breaking above cpr then you bring up r1 r2 so today if you see almost it went up to r1 in fact i thought of that but then you know i didn't want to i wanted to control my greed like what happened yesterday where i could have made 3500 i, I made a loss of 8, 800 rupees so which i didn't want to happen that's why i exited here i'm happy no problem no regrets yeah. Yeah, and just wondering, you know, if you if you if you bring the R one also, oh sorry, S one. So whether S one will will match with your anchored V V wrap, or is it 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 might. S one, uh, I can we can bring up and see. We can bring up. Yes, no, it went almost near S three if I remember right. Today I was watching that also. Okay, in yes, fact, S1. in fact, I took a. See, it almost came down to this is S one. Okay, it went a little bit to touch this A V wrap, but this is where you see the support came. It will not be picture perfect because you know market is not scientific. You know it is, so you cannot expect picture perfect uh, this thing. But you see the the reversal happened here yeah. at the A V wrap uh, band, which is S one also, and that's why this up move came. But okay. today morning I was. even thinking perhaps it will go to s3 but it, it didn't go thankfully but i was prepared in case it goes also maybe i would have taken another lot in case it went there but that did not happen okay so the market in my opinion is a now uh buy on dip okay any dip is a buying opportunity that's what i feel of course we have to play innings i mean you cannot assume buy sit on it each day you play according to how it moves tomorrow if it slips any slipping is a, an opportunity in case it slips comes somewhere here i will again buy go long no question of going short yeah and along with the index uh, the nifty in index uh, do you yeah. also prefer uh, trading on uh, bank uh, nifty bank nifty also is which i have the bank nifty i could have taken it also but i didn't do it see how exactly i missed it because See how exactly it touched the bottom of the pitchfork. I could have long gone long. I mean, I was concentrating on Nifty, so I I missed the chance to be honest. And I know Nifty target is this one. It is going towards the median. I may go long in Bank Nifty also tomorrow, just in case it gives me an opportunity, some dip. I will buy the dip. Then yeah. and, probably we can uh, play till the median. Yeah, and one last thing: whether you use uh, today for today's trading, whether you use yeah. the uh, index uh, chart or whether you use the futures. Uh, futures chart. only. For if you are playing futures, I had a look at the Nifty also. See, Nifty chart also it was making a low at the channel bottom, so I was seeing that also. Okay. In fact, I yeah. I I when it touched here, I took a long in futures. In fact, futures. That's why futures went a little bit below. After I bought, I was in negative actually. Well, I bought seeing this when it touched here. I bought one one lot, but after I bought, yeah. it went a little bit below, and when it came back up, I bought the second. Okay, there is some kind of a, a little bit mismatch will be there between futures and Nifty, but more yeah. or less same, not an issue. And so, if you have a premium account on on TradingView, you can have two screens, uh, two split screens on on one screen. That is one feature if at all you want to use. Because what I no, generally do is I use four screens. So one is no, Nifty, Nifty futures, uh, bank index, and bank index futures. Yeah, yeah, I know you can have. 
you can have 3 4 okay i have just started playing futures just day yesterday on friday okay so just wanted to try my hand and if it works out for about one month are you in my group or outside of my group who is speaking hitesh <laughs> hitesh ah yeah, hitesh you are very much in the group you know that so yeah. we have just started it uh, yesterday so see how it goes one month i will try my hand and if it works out we can scale up also no why not as for enter the game in money is what we are here to make if it yeah. comes through futures why not you can have a go at it out no ha a question you, you were you were long yesterday correct you were carrying on longs yeah so i will just carry it till till the the median of the channel right so you are still because, holding the longs yeah because you know so, so for me how it works is for the uh, for the for the futures i hold uh, uh-huh. for for uh, for long uh, and for options it's an intra- intraday uh, uh, okay, game like for okay like that yeah. like that because option has got time dk and all that yeah somehow options i am not comfortable i don't know any anyway, of i have to see because i don't there is no chart for me without a chart i am left uh, i don't know clueless i need to have a chart in front of me to know but for option there is no chart no how do you track no sir, sir there is a chart in trading view sir in trading view you can uh, you can type off you can uh, say you can go there uh, and uh, say where, where is option yeah just say just go to uh, yeah just say nifty uh, the last one third 24305 oh here are options just, now have they introduced now Maybe no no here i think is you know, depending on the different uh, different uh, call or put options so suppose uh, today i was yeah. saying so, with, uh, so the monthly uh, option expires on 30th may so if you say nifty 24 is the 24 is a year 05 uh, is the month uh, and 30th is the last thursday where it is getting expired So if you put that and followed by C as a call option and the strike, you will ah. get it, and you can see the chart. Oh, oh. I never knew that. This and also, if you want the the weekly, uh, you know, option expiries are also there for. So we can try for, because by options, if you are if you are lucky, you can get big money, no, more money yeah, for less is. less investment, more money. You lose the shirt also, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what it has to be. As he says, intraday only. you cannot uh, play i mean carry over or anything time decays will kill you so okay intraday if you are lucky but futures is comfortable for me okay i don't want to be but we have to try our hand out maybe i'll see next time okay i never knew that there is a chart for options okay if that is there then let me see how it goes okay anything else If there is nothing uh, we can yeah. matter uh, yeah yeah and I, i have one question could you yeah. explain about uh, your voice is people anchor we web could you please ah, explain yes. about that yes how to draw anchor anchored we web is available in trading view i think even in free version it is available if you go here you see anchored we web okay. it's available in this group so just click it just click and put it here that's it nothing else Only thing is, I use it as a band. I use it two times. First, Tactics. one I will put it as source as low, and the other one I put the source as high. See, you that way you get two V webs. It gives a band. But I when I kept, I'm getting three, three lines. No, no. See, you go to settings. You remove everything else. See, just keep the V web. All other things maybe you can switch it off. Not required. See, that's all. Maybe something else is ticked off. Something else, some other lines, some medians are there. They may also come. But I use only the the plain A V map. Okay, you can see how exactly it just came down. Took a U turn at this band. That only gave me the courage yeah, to take the third lot today. Okay. Anybody else? Any doubts? Uh, any benefits, sir? What? What? 
Means what are the benefits of it? What are the benefits? Yeah. Benefits of what? Anchored VWAP. That's what I tell you. It gives you support, no? Okay. You are able to take a call, no? When it comes okay. down, you can expect reversal to happen here. And it happens, you see? Can you not see that? Okay, okay. It the is reversal like support, happened. Uh, it is like support. It acts as a support, yes. Okay. In a bull trend. Okay, in a bull trend, you have to keep the AAV web at the bottom. In a bear okay. trend, you have to put the AAV web at the top. It will act okay. as a resistance. Okay. Okay. Simple. Okay. Shall I wind up? Yes, please. And very helpful session today. Thank you.